Hello YouTube. We're working on a 175,000 BTU burn-on boiler. Problem that we have here is that the boiler is surging. Whereas the boiler has a bad case of the cooties. The boiler has been overfilling. Because the lower the cutoff, right here the lower the cutoff, is telling the automatic feeder automatic feeder to turn on well the water is getting sucked up the return line we put in some boiler cleaner we put in two quarts of this boiler cleaner Here's your automatic feeder. And believe it or not, this boiler cleaner I put in the radiator of my car. There's an engine flush. Whatever you decide to put in the radiator of your car, that's up to you. There's my disclaimer on that. Now, you've got the chemical in there now for about a half hour. She's running. We're waiting for this to break loose. You can see the, the water in the gauge glass. You could say percolate. <laughs> Yeah, this boiler, you can say we gave it a high colonic. We're waiting on this thing to bust loose. I'll give it a few more seconds. McDonald Miller, 24 volt, low water cutoff. Has two sets of contacts, normally open and normally closed. Makes and breaks the boiler. It's a safety limit and also energizes the automatic feeder. There's a food damper. switch underneath the breaching and we have a blowout switch in case the flame rolls out from under the boiler this is gas valve use your automatic pressure troll. And this boiler is also equipped with a manual reset pressure troll. Currently now all the pigtails must be made out of brass because they're non-scaling. Well previously they were allowed steel This is a backflow preventer. This is the back end of the automatic feeder that has a strainer in here with a bypass. And then backed up with another check valve, a spring loaded check valve. And going into the top of the Hartford loop. Well, there you have it. We're waiting on this thing to bust loose. And please remember to check the batteries in your carbon monoxide tester, uh, detector in your boiler room area and the rest of your house.
make sure your batteries are working and your smoke detectors also and please do not store any volatile liquids or gases barbecue tanks or spray paint or aerosol cans in your boiler area okay thanks for watching